Neville Goddard used to say there is no difference between manifesting one dollars or ten million dollars. You can have everything that you want. You can have anyone that you want. There is no one better or worse than you. Everything is equal. Everything is an extension of source energy, the energy that creates entire universe. And that energy lives inside you. There is nothing that you cannot do. And that's why once you desire something is because it's meant to be for you. However, you need to throw logic out of the window. One of the most complaints that I got on this channel for from years now is you aren't co you're not coherent there is no logic in what you're saying one day you say this one day you say another thing the law there is this success story about this person that affirmed and then there is another person saying at the same time that they never affirmed and they just let it go should i think should i not think what is the logic behind this law and the truth is you need to throw logic out of the window hello everybody my name is Nea, and on this channel we talk everything about manifestation esotericism and so much more on patreon i make extra weekly videos if you guys are interested the link is down below we also have a chat dedicated where we motivate one another and we find out more things about manifestation in the esotericism so check the community also remember to subscribe and hit the ring bell button so you always get notified of when i'm live here on youtube for free so you can ask me questions now guys um see there is this trend i noticed which is totally fair and it's fine uh, all people say you shouldn't think so now the new trend for manifestation is you have to not think and then you will get your manifestation that is true for some that is not true for some other people in my opinion it's not that you have to stop thinking because good luck with that not thinking about what you desire but it's more about you have to direct your thoughts to towards the right direction so you still have to think you can oh you are always thinking anyway it's just that you need to go to the end of what you want now you can even manifest in steps now i'm not a fan of manifesting steps i just don't do it because that's not for me but obviously that is completely personal but even if you manifest in steps so let's give the example of money you are manifesting one thousand dollars a month or maybe you're manifesting just thirty dollars a month you could go from 30 then to 40 then to 50 then to 1000 to 10,000 to 20,000 whatever might be realistic for you to achieve because that's also important for your mind to kind of accept it faster so I totally get that however even if you're manifesting in step you still have an end because this step is the end so first you have the first end is thirty dollars then you have the second end and is forty dollars and you progress and you become better and better and better and manifesting but still you go with your thoughts towards the end now the way the law works it's without logic whatsoever the thing can come into your life in mysterious and personal and surprising ways. I mean, look around. If you believe in the concept of infinite intelligence, source energy, or an ultimate creator that live inside of you, it's got a sense of humor, don't you think, to create a world that is so incoherent in and of itself and is so divided, yet that we are all one at the same time. So that should already tell you that reality is really not that logical now the human mind loves logical thinking because it feels safe but the logic of the law surpasses the human mind surpa surpasses the human thinking because it's from the subconscious it's from the soul it's from the god within so you guys there is no point for you to create rules for others to follow the law is like this and you have to do it this way or i have to do what this person has told me or even i said because in reality there is only one way of manifesting and is your personal way of doing things the personal way in which you are already manifesting things in your reality the personal way of constructing your thoughts and i've said this this millions of times i mean some of us feel things more deeply some others of us are more thinker they affirm some others of us visualize some other of us do all of these things together some of us they prefer to surrender and let go some others of us are fighters and they just go after what they want it does not matter the way you do it everything works everything is true but what matters is that you open your mind to be surprised of the infinite ways in which things can come 
come to you. I see this all the time, even with friends of mine. Like I remember, I just had this friend, so I'm gonna tell you the stories, the success stories about an SP. So you are gonna love it. So I had this friend of mine, and she was desperate. It was just two days, no, three days ago or something like that. So she calls me like at four o'clock in the morning. Obviously, I couldn't answer, so I call her right away in the morning, um, and like around eight o'clock or something. And she was crying. She was desperate. She was like, we broke up with her boyfriend he said he doesn't love me anymore i don't know what to do i'm devastated uh, i feel physically in pain now obviously she's my friend so i immediately invite her over and i said let's talk about it let's just like let's talk about it for a second i spent the entire day with her while she was sobbing and crying and the first thing that i did i just listened i just allowed her the space to cry and feel her emotion because it is like accepting what has happened and then she couldn't even breathe she was like tell me tell me tell me what it's gonna happen what it's gonna happen now i know how to impress people's subconscious mind and i know that that would have helped her so in that particular case i said let's do a tarot reading right there so I said, let's do a tarot reading. So she was afraid. I said, don't be afraid. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Well, I saw, I was honest. I saw that they were getting back together and everything was fine. But at the same time, I knew that if I will tell her that through the tarot, she, because she believes in tarot, she would have took it so seriously and it would immediately impress in her subconscious and would have allowed her to manifest it so fast. So I said, listen, maximum by the end of the day, He's going to call you back. He's going to say he's sorry and everything is going to be all right. Watch it. You'll see it. And then you're going to be re reborn into a new self and you're going to feel so much better about yourself and you're not even going to give it importance to this, to this event that happened. And it was a very bad event, by the way, that happened, which I'm not going to go into because it's personal details. And she was like, but how is impossible? This has happened. And she was trying to reason her way with logic saying it cannot happen because what happened between me uh, and my SP is too bad this time is over i know and then she was going back to the past and she was like you know let's see last last year the first of may we split up so it has to happen again this is a curse and she was going into all this logic that made so much sense in her head because it was referred to the past and i was like no this is bs you guys love each other. You guys are going to be together. I saw it in the cards. I don't want to talk about it ever again. And she kept going with her logic and logic and logic. I spent the entire day to talk her through. And I said, shut up the phone. Uh, order yourself a nice dinner. Take a bath. Just do something for yourself. And then repeat. He's going to be with me. He's going to be with me. He's going to be with me. There is nothing that you cannot do. There is not no one that you cannot manifest. This does not matter. Logic does not matter. I was like repeating on a loop to her. I'm sorry, you guys. I have to interrupt the video but i was saying i kept repeating this over and over and over and over again and at the end of the day you obviously call her the back together everything is fine because there is no logic behind the law there it doesn't matter what you did what you didn't do what you think is going to happen everything like the law can shock you if you just stay consistent to the end if your thoughts are directed with what you want it doesn't matter what technique you're going to use you are going to get what you want okay you guys so that's all for today's video and that i wanted to say there is no logic and no laws behind the law you can have and be whatever you want and you should never be bothered by things outside of yourself just go straight forward to the end and just open your mind to be surprised about the infinite ways in which your manifestation can come to you i love you guys and i'll see you very soon remember to subscribe and hit the ring bell button so you'll always get notified about when I'm live and I'll see you very soon.